Well, Farouz, 45 on your debut, and more importantly, perhaps it's a contribution that led to the win. Just your reflections are all on that debut. Yeah, um, pretty good debut to be honest. Um, you know, going into today was going to be obviously a really tough day with the match situation. You know, it was going to be quite close. So I think walking in to bat out 60 odd for four with, with Chef it was not obviously it was the, ma the match was in the balance and you know it was going to wasn't going to be easy. A tough you know bowling attack to face still. So. I just felt like once I get in, you know, after a few couple of boundaries, once I get myself set, you know, I feel more comfortable. Um, and obviously with Chef at the other end, it makes it so much, so much easier as well. 202 seemed quite a modest total, but it was hard work out there, wasn't it? 100% the, you know, the, the wicket was still doing a lot, of it, especially with the spin, um, you know, still, still gripping and, and turning. And, you know, it wasn't going to be easy work, you know, these kind of, these kind of totals are, are always going to be quite sticky ones, and especially when you use a couple of quick wickets. Um, so we just had to be positive, you know. You know, plenty of time still left in the day. Um, just had to just keep a keep a cool head and you know, see if we. Yeah, yeah. Testing times for you because we lost three quick wickets really before you went in just before lunch, and I guess that was the first challenge, wasn't it? Uh, don't, don't worry about runs. Just make sure I still got my wicket intact at the at the interval. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, you sort of take to take each ball by ball and over by over, and just make sure you're still there at the crease. You know. One sort of sit, one sort of rush on you. If you're out, you're back in there, and you've got, there's not much else you can do. So I was saying to myself, just take one ball at a time. And Chef was coming up to me, just taking, trying to tell me to take one ball at a time, you know, and just focus on the ball. So that was all I was trying to do. And once I got myself in, just let my natural ability take over. And you know, luckily I came off quite well today. Yeah, well, you're able to have, have quite a lot of time there. I was going to ask you about the combination uh, between you and, and Cookie. Um, so much experience and uh, guy just making his way in the game. Um, did he talk you through the through the innings? Oh yeah, well, obviously he come like come down to me quite a few times after sort of before the deliveries and just sort of said next ball, watch the next ball, watch the next ball. And so you know, I was just always just trying to stay calm and collective. You know, I'm quite generally quite a chilled out, cool guy. You know. Uh, don't get really phased by too much things, you know, I've been in quite a few pressure situations before. Obviously playing first class cricket is a much bigger step up to playing second team cricket and stuff like that. So it was going to be tough, but I always wanted to take one ball at a time. You know, the, the guys were, the obviously opposition were, were chirping a little bit and getting, trying to get into the, my head a little bit. Um, but, you know, I'm never going to be phased by that. I just take one ball at a time and, you know. Yeah. yeah. One thing it's said about uh, Sir Alistair's game is um, not always about the shots he plays, but the balls he knows to leave alone because he you know, doesn't have the shot to play it as it were. Standing at the other end, is that something that gets drilled through to you after a while? You think, yeah, that was a good decision, just let it go, you know, don't take any chances. Yeah, 100%. I mean, he's obviously such a mentally strong person when it comes to batting. He, you know, he takes a lot of time and he bats long periods of time, so that's always something that's been drilled into me when I've been coming up the ranks and batting and from coaches and, and my father was always to try and bat long periods of time you know drill and just try and concentrate you know we had so much time so there's no need to try and play a lot of shots you know even if I was a few dot balls few overs where we weren't scoring I know later on I could catch up uh, with you know bowlers getting tired and there will be a few odd loose balls here and there so there were plenty of time so leaving the ball outside that off stump was always going to be key and then waiting for him to come straight to me uh, on my legs. Are you scoreboard conscious as a batsman? In other words, set yourself look targets. Oh, good, that's ten on the board. Right, let's get on to 20, 25, 30. Mm, not really, to be honest. I just sort of take ball by ball. Um, if it's a bad ball, try and put it away. And I don't really set myself targets. I just look at the score, see where I'm at, and then just try and take one ball at a time. Right. Um, I don't want to put too many things into my head. Obviously, I need to watch the ball and make sure I'm focusing on that. So that's the priority. Um, so I don't try and make too many, put too much things in my head. No, yeah, no. A little bit of verbals out there. There was, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't lie. There was a few. Um, I'm, I'm getting quite used to it now. When I've been playing, you know, second team and stuff like yeah. that, you do get a bit of it now. So I was drilled quite mentally when I was younger, getting sledged and getting things said to me. Don't really phase me, to be honest. I just laugh it off and, you know, I just focus on the next ball. So yeah. take it as a mark of respect, actually, do you? Slightly, yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't really phase me. <laughs> Well, you put that 80 odd on with Sir Alistair and when you were out, I mean, we were looking, I won't say comfortable, but we were certainly favourites to win that. And then a little blip along the way. Um, what was the feeling like back in the in the changing area there? People well, pacing up and down, yeah, passing, yeah, of course, like, it was been nerve wracking, I can't lie. Um, especially when I think Harmy got out and then Thomas was on a hat trick ball and then you were like, oh God, 
you know, still quite a few runs. I mean, to, to, I think it was 30, you still need 30, 30 or 31 yeah. two wickets a hand. So you're like, wow, it's still a long way away when I mean, you look at the scoreboard. But with Weeds there, such a cool head guy, he's obviously such a really good batsman. And, um, you know, we still believed in the guys at the end there. You know, just take one ball at a time, you know, still a good wicket. So if we just held in there and just take one run at a time, and then before you know, we were into single figures and then. You know, we got there at the end, which was really good. Well, we'll play today and uh, your efforts, uh, great contribution there. And uh, welcome to the first team and the uh, start of a long career. Thanks oh, for thank the time, so Wish you every success. Cheers, mate. Thank, thank you. you so much.